Hello, in this video, we're going to prove that the set of integers is isomorphic to uh, this set here. This is all the multiples of three. And we're treating these as groups. So this is the group of integers under addition, and this is the group of all multiples of three uh, under addition. So let's go ahead and go through the proof. Proof. So to prove that two groups are isomorphic, we have to first come up uh, with a map, and we have to show that it's a homomorphism, we have to show that it is one-to-one, -one, and we have to show that it is onto. So let's define our map as follows. So define phi from z into 3z by, let's say, phi of x equals 3x. And just note that this is totally well defined. There's no issues here. And note 3x is an element of the set. This is the set of all multiples of 3. So everything is good here. We have uh, a function. Let's show that it's a group homomorphism. So to show that it's a group homomorphism, you have to show, let me show you up here in a different color. If you have a map in general, f from g into h, and you're trying to show that it's a group homomorphism, you have to show that f of x, y is equal to f of x times f of y. And that has to be true for all x, y in our group g. Okay, so uh, in our case, g is z and h is 3z and f is phi. And here, multiplication, I wrote it with multiplication on purpose because now it's gonna be different. Now it's gonna be addition. So then, for all x, y, and z. I just wanted to show you both ways, the multiplicative notation, which is typically what's in textbooks and how it's introduced, and the sometimes additive notation, which is used like we're using now. We have phi of x plus y. Well, what is this equal to? Well, this is going to be three times x plus y. Right? because we have phi of x equals 3x. So if we're looking at phi of x plus y, we just replace the x with x plus y. So this is equal to, I'll distribute the three, so you get 3x plus 3y. Oh, look at that, that's equal to phi of x plus phi of y. Beautiful, beautiful mathematics. So we have that for all x, y, uh, and z, phi of x plus y is equal to phi of x plus phi of y. So that's exactly what we have up here uh, with this definition of homomorphism, except here we have it with addition, hence, phi is a group homomorphism, homomorphism, very nice. All right, now we have to show that uh, phi is one to one, and we also have to show that it is on to. So I'll try to go quickly. So let's see, phi is one to one, let's, let's focus on that. So to show it's one to one, we start by, let's just do it. So suppose v of x equals v of y for x, y, and z. And we have to show x, x is equal to y. Well, v of x, what is that gonna be? It's just gonna be three x. And v of y is just three y. Right, so x is equal to y. So that shows it's one to one. V is onto, let's do that. So to show it's one to one, you assume phi of x equals phi of y, and you have to show x equals y. Onto is a little bit different. Um, let me, I guess I'll write the, I'm gonna give you the definition up here so you have it, and I'm gonna do it in a different color. So I'm gonna say f, from A to B is onto, because it's really important to be able to understand, you really need to use the definition for onto. So I didn't write it for one-to-one, because one-to-one is suppose this is true, then you just show this is true. So it was really easy in this case. But here, like you really do need the definition. Uh, means for all Y and B, there exists some X and A such that f of x is equal to y. So that's the definition of onto, and 
you just have to know it cold and just know what it means intuitively and everything, right? To just know it perfectly. And with that, you can pretty much show, you know, most things are onto. It's usually not too difficult. So we need to show that this function is onto. So given some y and b, so this is just going to be scratch work. This is not going to be our proof. So if we have some y and b, in other words, some multiple of 3z, so say we have um, it's multiple of, 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 of an integer, so say we have y equals 3m, right? Uh, we need an x value that will take us there. So we need x such that v of x is equal to y, which is equal to 3m. Well, what's v of x? 3x. So we just take x equal to m in our proof, so, and that should work. So let's go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and prove that v is onto. Let me show you. So to show it's onto, we start for, with a y and b. Our b is 3z. So take any y in 3z. What does that mean? So this means, let's even use the same letter from our scratch work, y is equal to 3m for some m. We don't know what it is though. And z, right? It's just some multiple. Then, m is in z, so we can look at phi of m, and that's equal to 3m, which is equal to y. So <laughs> thus phi is on to. So it's very easy. It's very, very easy. But in order to really understand the proof, you really have to understand the definition, right? So for every little y and b, there exists x and a such that f of x equals y. Let's, let's see how we did that here. So our b is this. And we said take any. So for every y and b, um, we have to show there exists an x and a. Well, where is that? Right here. For some m and z, that's the existence part. And then such that f of x equals y, that's right here, that's phi of m equals y. Thus, phi is onto, and that completes everything. So we have that it's one-to-one, -one, it's onto, and it's a group homomorphism, therefore it's an isomorphism. So since one, phi is a group homomorphism, group homomorphism, two, phi is one to one, three, phi is onto. We have that phi from z into three z is an isomorphism And that, that's really powerful, right? It's an iso these groups are isomorphic. They're essentially the same, right? They're essentially the same in the view of um, you know, group theory and abstract algebra. They're isomorphic groups. Um, so therefore, you know, we can write you know, Z is isomorphic to 3Z. So kind of fun. I, I just wanted to make this video really quickly. I actually hadn't done the problem uh, until now. So hopefully uh, my explanation made sense. Hopefully this has helped even if just a little bit of it made sense. Even if you learned something, um, that's better than not learning anything. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.